watching the award-winning GHS-TV, Germantown Community Television, your hometown news and information station. Hello and welcome to Legal Ease. My name is Vince Perryman and I'm a local attorney with the Law Offices of J. Vincent Perryman. Each month, Legal Ease focuses on a wide range of legal issues and topics. Today's show covers the civil justice system. With us now is attorney Thomas Greer of Bailey and Greer. Thomas, thanks for being with us today. You know, we, we I do one of these shows each month and we talk about all sorts of legal issues and we try to boil it down to the basics. And I think one of the basic tenants that we have not uh, treated on the show is talking about how the justice system works and it's kind of a we see law and order things like that on TV and a lot of times it's a more of a focus on the criminal justice system as opposed to the civil justice system and there's kind of a bifurcation between the two um, so with the just briefly you know what's the difference there right so yes, most people when you talk about or you hear about the justice system, you instinctively you think of the criminal justice system. Someone's committed a crime and they are going to be sent to prison or, or be put on trial for a crime. The civil justice system is different. Um, it is um, a system that's set up to resolve disputes between people, ordinary citizens, between people and companies, between um, two companies, and it's not designed to punish someone for anything, typically. It's designed to, um, to reach resolutions with one another, with one another and to, um, to compensate someone um, for something that's gone wrong. So for example, um, you hire a contractor to do some work on your roof, it's not done correctly, and you have property damage from that. You could bring a civil lawsuit against the contractor. If you're discriminated in the workplace, you can bring a civil lawsuit uh, for that discrimination. If you're a uh, victim of medical malpractice, the civil justice system is there for uh, ordinary people, businesses to come to the court and, um, and seek redress. Okay, now how, how you know, since the, the system's set up, how, is, how does the system work on that side, on the civil side? Right. Um, it, it's probably uh, too broad for us to cover in, in today's topic, but um, anyone has a right to bring a lawsuit and a lot of times um, you have the option of either having a judge decide your case or having a jury. Um, so in the case of a jury um, trial, if it actually goes to trial, the case is not settled beforehand. Um, in Tennessee, um, we have a 12-person jury system and it has to be unanimous, even in the civil uh, context. A lot of other states, um, if it's a civil case, you only have to have nine, ten out of twelve jurors to win your case. Not in Tennessee, you have to have unanimous uh, a verdict. Um, judges have the right to reduce verdict amounts. Judges have the right, the trial judge sitting at the, during the trial, they have a right to uh, throw out the verdict and order a new trial if they don't think the evidence, um, they don't, if they don't think the verdict fit with the evidence. Um, so those are some pr protections that we have um, in Tennessee. Before trial, um, lots of things happen. Um, you have a right to take discovery, to take depositions of the other side, of your opposing party. You have a right to send written questions. You have a right to look at documents. It's not like you see on TV where um, you go to hire a lawyer and next week you're in trial. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. It takes years to, to make your way through the civil justice system. And if it does happen, you should probably be worried about that, yeah. the competency. Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. Um, now, and this is something that uh, I think is kind of implied by what we've talked about so far, but the, the civil justice system basically, it varies from state to state. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty much very similar, but it, it's certain nuances as to how many jurors you have and, and things of that nature. Sure. Okay. Right. It, it varies from state to state, and even within Tennessee, you have a uh, the state court system and you have the federal court system so even from state court to federal court you're going to have certain uh, differences um, um, a, a, a jury in federal court they may only the ju judge may only seat um, nine jurors and Tennessee mm -hmm. it's going to be 12 yeah so there's there are, there are differences from state to state 
there are differences from um, federal system to the state system as well. Okay, and, and then as far as in the civil system, we've got uh, just, <coughs> I guess in our, our most typical cases of what we would see in uh, a, a film on a civil trial, such as some of the John Grisham books and things, you've got the judge and then you've got the jury as long as, and as well with the uh, two parties each having an attorney. Mm -hmm. What, what is everybody's job in that situation? Um, well, attorneys are advocates for their clients. So that's how our, our American judicial system is set up. It's an adversarial system. I have a duty to represent my client within ethical guidelines to the best I can. Other side has the same thing, uh, same duties. Uh, the judge is there if you go to trial and, and if you get into disputes along the way to apply the law. So the judge is going to make rulings on uh, a piece of evidence. Is this evidence going to come into trial? Is it relevant? Does it meet? Does it fall within one of our evidentiary rules? Make those types of rulings. Um, the jury is going to decide the facts, and they're going to say who's right, who wins. Okay, if, if we go to trial and say a simple car wreck case, and and I and one side says you're at fault, the other side says no, it wasn't me, it was you. Mm -hmm jury gets to weigh all the evidence and they get to decide who was at fault and the jury gets to decide the amount of damages. So were there medical bills? If so, how much? Did the person have time off work? Did the person, um, you know, was the person in pain? Is it a permanent injury? Is it something that he's going to have to be compensated for for years in the future? That's what the jury decides. And then with an added protection um, in Tennessee, the judge then reviews the verdict and and says yes this verdict is is fair and in compliance with the evidence or the judge can say no the evidence did not support this verdict i'm 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 throwing the case out and i'm going to order a new trial so those are generally kind of the roles of all the parties and then i guess at the end of it if there is some uh, reason or cause uh, then either party uh, would have the ability to take it to a higher court correct um, if a case goes all the way through the system and it's tried and, it, and, the, and the verdict is upheld by the judge, um, you, have an auto, you have an appeal as of right, mm -hmm. meaning that if you lose, you automatically have a right to go to the, um, ten, to the Tennessee Appellate Courts. You start off at the Court of Appeals and the Court of Appeals will review evidentiary rulings, will review whatever you complain and say, I, I, the trial judge was wrong and we, we think it should have been done this way. The appellate courts review that. Um, if the Court of Appeals, um, after the Court of Appeals is ruling, you can also apply to the Supreme Court. That's not an automatic right, but on some cases they'll take it if it's an important issue, if there's a sort of a something that's unclear in the law, the Supreme Court will take that up. Okay. When we return, we'll continue our discussion about the civil justice system. Please stay with us. <laughs> 